Happy Dog Farm, April 10. The battery in my Parmac got brought down. So I walked around, found shorts on the line, disconnected it, let it charge for a while this morning. I don't like leaving the fencer off overnight, but it's no good when you have a dead battery anyway. What I'm doing now is I'm kind of an uber geek in that I have what's a device that electricians would call a mega. It measures mega ohms, um, lots and lots of mega ohms, and it does it with voltage, very high voltage. This is a thousand volt unit. And when I go under test, the little red light comes on. It initially charges the line, so I have in excess of 2,000 mega ohms. So we're talking giga ohms of resistance, which tells me I don't have a short on the line anymore. And I'm testing it at a voltage that if there was even le if there was leakage, it would certainly show up. And you can see it's telling me, don't touch that. So you know that's a good thing. And obviously we, I go down to lower voltages. This is also used for testing windings on motors and things like that. Um, they finally have become very affordable, and it's a very, very valuable tool. Also good for checking leaky capacitors, things like that. But I've clipped up, and I'm testing it, and I wanted to share that with you because that is another way to test your fence with a piece of test equipment you could use for something else. Um, I'm going to do some work in the fence line, leave the fencer turned off until I leave and by which time it will have recovered because it consumes very, very, very little power as long as there isn't a short on the line. So that's your geek tip for the day. By the way, I got this unit on eBay. I ordered it directly from China. It goes by brand names that are well respected in the United States. This is just not brand marked. And I'm very happy with it. It works very well. So I just say to you, if you're looking for a high voltage test system up to a thousand volts, this is actually a good deal. So a little bit of farm and touch and a little bit of electrical side to it also. Plus, yeah, you can measure AC volts with it. So if you're doing electrical work and you just need to quick check voltage, you can do that. That CE mark, by the way, is not the CE mark, at least as far as I can tell. All right, that's it. Happy April 10th.